What is up guys? We are back today for another live in the Pokedex RU Alpha tier. They finally released an RU. Uh, it's been a couple of days now, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. But as you can see the team on screen right now, <laughs> you know, the things in RU at the moment, like Metagross, Suicune, Entei, uh, I've got a, a Hailcore, Togekiss is like one of the highest used mons right now. It's pretty insane, but uh, uh, actually, hold on, I have to change something about my Togekiss because I have Defog on here, but I don't need it. Uh, because I have Rapid Spin, so I'm going to change this to... What do I change this to? Dazzling? Dazzling could be good. Maybe Flamethrower? I haven't seen anything worth Flamethrowering yet. Uh, maybe uh, maybe Metagross. Yeah, that could be good. I think I outspeed Metagross, right? If it's no speed? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with Flamethrower. Uh, let's see how this team does. Uh, we have Colton that's going to be watching our games, actually. Uh, we're doing a draft tonight for a really cool league. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm at the bottom of the li ladder, guys. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, okay? <laughs> this is amazing. Um, Togedemaru. Okay, so Togekiss can't really put, a, put in a lot of work, but it can flamethrower the Togedemaru, so keep that in mind. Um, Suicune's not going to be doing too good. Actually, I'm really weak to electric types <laughs> with this team. This is going to be uh, a little bit difficult. But let's lead off with Ninetales, because we can get up uh, an Aurora Veil pretty early. Uh, we are also faster than Pachirizu, so this is good. Just going to go for the Veil straight away. We're HP fire on this. Uh, he's going to go for Nuzzle. It's going to instantly paralyze us, but it's not going to do too much damage, which is good. Uh, and we'll just go for Blizzard here. I mean, it's pretty free. He's going to go for Super Fang. That's fine. This Blizzard is going to destroy this patch where he uses life. And uh, then we'll go for uh, another Blizzard. Why not? He's going to go for Rain Dance. Uh, we still hit the Blizzard, though, so that's cool. Why Rain Dance? You have Thunder on something, right? For sure. That's guaranteed. But with this Veil up, like, I can take hits from anything. It's just really annoying that everything gets Nuzzle. Uh, Raichu's probably gonna go for Thunder right here. Uh, I'm going to go out into Metagross because it should be able to take it decently well. As he does go for Psychic, actually, so that works out perfectly. And, uh, now we're gonna limit his switch-ins <laughs> by going for Stealth Rocks. Gonna get those up. How's, uh, how's my position positioning on the cam? I think I'm okay. Goes for Gigavolt Havoc. <laughs> does 40. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, that did nothing. We're gonna go for Earthquake right here. Uh, should be able to knock out Raichu. We still have Veil online. He's going to go for Surf. Oh, that's cool. That's an interesting set. We're going to get a crit right there. A little unfortunate for my opponent, but uh, with Rocks up, we should be able to clean sweep this team. No problem. He's got a, an Electric Steel, an uh, Electric Fairy, another Electric Grounded Mon, and then his Emolga is the only thing off the ground. He's going to go into Pikachu. I'm just going to go for an Earthquake. Fake out. Okay, stalling out my Veil. Smart, smart. Uh, let's go for another EQ. Like I said, I limited his switch-ins by getting a Brock, so he's going to go for knockoff. Good play, get rid of my leftovers. Didn't even know Pikachu got knockoff, probably because I never used Pikachu. That would explain it. Uh, Audio is going through, okay. Like I really started this recording on the fly, guys. That's why I'm still checking everything, but I think I'm okay. So get a Maru's going to come in. What is this thing going to do to me? I'm just going to EQ you. Another fake out, okay. I'm going to go for another Earthquake. I mean, I really don't care. I still have Entei in the back. <laughs> like... Uh, Zing Zap. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, let's go into Ninetales. Let's get up the hail. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to switch out directly into, uh, Sand Slash on this possibly. Maybe into Suicune first. Get him to go for a Steel Move. Uh, there's Poison Jab actually. Uh, Iron Head's better in that case, but all right. Uh, I'm now going to, I think I'm just going to Scald. Even though he has Zing Zap, I'm just going to fire off a Scald in case he wants to switch. Uh, that did 40. Wow, that was actually quite a bit. He doesn't flinch us, which is awesome. We're going to get off a of Scald. And I think I'm going to now... Huh. Yeah, let's switch into Sand Slash. It's fine. I think we're okay. I didn't want to take a Steel move with Ninetales, but I wanted to make sure to get up my Hail. Uh, as he does go for another Zing Zap. It's only going to do 30, which is fine. And we can now go for Earthquake, and we pretty much sweep from here. Uh, he's going to go for Spiky Shield, but that doesn't matter. Uh, and now I'm going to, I'm going to just EQ again, because again, this thing has limited switch-ins. I still have my Hail Setter, so I'm all good. Uh, Hail is only up for five turns at a time. He does go into Emolga, which is fine, again. Uh, just going to go out into Ninetales now. And then I'm going to go back into Sand Slash once Ninetales goes down. He's going to go for the HP, I don't know what. Maybe Fighting, possibly? Not sure. Uh, I think Entei is... Well, Ninetales is expendable, right? But I still want to keep my hail, so I'm going to go out into Suicune. Suicune is definitely ex expendable. I knew that from the beginning of the game. Uh, there's another Hidden Power. I don't know if he specs, because Hidden Power is doing quite a bit. I'm just going to fire off a Scald. He could be Choice Specs. I have a feeling he is, because Amolga doesn't have the highest special attack. 
This isn't even a serious game, guys. I don't know why I'm commentating like this. This is just funny. Emolga the God. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Screen sharing with Astro. I don't think it's going to be worth it. Yeah. I'm just planning out a draft right now. Like I said. Um, can I get this out of the way? Or does this go, go away if I do that? It shouldn't, right? It just gets out of the way. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, in comes Togenamaru on a Scald. Get rid of that thing. Beautiful. Like I said, he's probably Specs and Molga. That's why I did so much to both Ninetales and to Suicune. Then a Knight is going to come in. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to let this go down. I'm going for a Scald. It's fine. He can go for whatever he wants. Grass Knot. Yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, going to go out to Science Slash now. Going to go for the Earthquake. Uh, if he switches out into a Molga, again, it's fine. He's taking uh, Rock Damage. I could very easily just... Okay, he's going to go for the Protect. That's fine. And... Uh, he does have leftovers, right? No, he doesn't. Okay. I'm just going for EQ again. Because the more this Amulga comes in, the more it gets whittled. So there's Super Fang. Earthquake should be able to take this out. No problem. Crit. Okay. And uh, then we just switch out into Ninetales and go back into Sand Slash and click uh, Icicle Crash. And that should be it. We're already six minutes deep for this game. <laughs> Crazy. I am uh, at the very bottom of the ladder, though. I do not have any points on this account. I was actually uh, testing out this team on a different account before I switched over. I'm gonna go for the uh, Volt Switch, okay. I'm gonna go into Sand Slash now, and I think I'm just gonna click Icicle Crash. If we miss, then we miss, whatever. I just clean up with Entei with E-Speed. It's all good. We are banded, of course, as most uh, Entei should be on the ladder. What is taking him so long to click Volt Switch again? I know your choice, man. We're gonna find another uh, game in the meantime. The Smolga should go down. Yep, there it is. Didn't get to see it go down, but there it is. Gone. We are a life orb with rapid spin, so. Uh, my opponent has a very threatening team. He's got two dragon dancers over here. He's got a Florgis. I didn't even know Florgis was down here, but that's kind of why I have Metagross was for fairies. Um, Sand Slash does the job, too. Sand Slash actually kills his entire team. I just noticed. Like, he has five Pokemon weak to, to Alolan Sand Slash. Actually, all six are, if we're counting Earthquake. Um, but I'm just going to lead off with Ninetales, because Ninetales has a good matchup. Except against Amistar, not really favorable for me. Um, I don't really want to get up the Veil. I'm just going to go into Suicune hard. I uh, really don't feel like taking a Rock-type move from this thing. Although I outspeed it right now, like I, I'm pretty sure a Rock-type move would hurt. Uh, I don't really want to mess around with that. I'm going to keep my Hail for later in the game. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks. Okay, that's fine. I have a Rapid Spinner, uh, so that's all good. We will go for the Scald right here. He's going to go for Spikes. Okay, so he's Spike Stacking me. Interesting. Um, do I go into Sand Slash now? I think I do. And try to get rid of this crap. He goes into Celebi. Awesome. We're going to go out into Sand Slash. This is threatening him, so I'm just going to go for the Rapid Spin here. Uh, as he does go back into Omstar, so we're going to get rid of his Hazards. And then we're going to go for a... Oh, he got a plus two speed boost. Yeah, but you still don't outspeed me, do you? You probably have no speed investment. Weak Armor. Interesting. Yeah, he's, he's definitely not max... Never mind. <laughs> I guess he's max speed. Um, so I have nothing that outspeeds this. Uh, but his defense is at minus one. Do I bring up a calc and see if max attack Metagross can kill this thing? I'm going to start with a bullet punch. Uh, defensive entry hazard setter. He was faster than me, so he needs to be like max speed. Uh, that's probably what he is, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Max speed, jolly... Uh, versus Metagross. Regular Metagross. Uh, offensive Stealth Rock. With a plus attack nature. I am mad adamant max attack. I do have Bullet Punch. Uh, and that normally does 23 to 27. If we put him at minus 1 defense. Uh, it's doing 35 to 41. So actually it is a roll to kill. Um, and I'm going to take the chance at the roll. We're going to go for Bullet right here. Uh, it's a roll in his favor. It is, but did I calc that he... Well, that set has max HP, by the way. Uh, if we take away this max HP, then uh, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. Yeah, 43 to 50, so we'll go for that. Uh, if he switches out into anything, I'm not too concerned because I do have the Stealth Rocks. So down goes the Amistar, no hazards up for him. Uh, we did lose our Sand Slash, which killed everything on his team, but uh, I think Suicune... No, not Suicune. Maybe Togue? Togekiss could probably do it. Uh, he goes into Como. I'm going to Zen Headbutt this thing. He's got Flamethrower. That looks like Specs Flamethrower as well. We are not going to go down to that. He does put himself in Bullet Punch range as well, so I'm just going to go for that. And, uh, I mean, there's nothing he can really switch in on this that would, like, immediately threaten it other than Haxorus. So, 
That's fine. He is going to go into Haxorus now. Uh, how do I want to deal with this? I think I'm just going to attack it. He wants to get rid of this right now. He's not going to risk setting up a Dragon Dance in front of a, a max attack Metagross. There's no way. I don't think, anyway. Um, I don't have any kind of phasing on this team, which is a little bit annoying. If he does attack, though, I just go into Ninetales and I fire off a Blizzard. So that's fine. Yeah, let's go for Zen Headbutt. He's actually going to switch out into his Crobat on my Zen Headbutt. Amazing. That's dead. All right, and we just keep getting leftovers. <laughs> um, Crobat I wasn't too concerned about because I have, like, everything in the book to kill it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Bullet Punch plus Zen Headbutt should be able to deal with Florgis. The only thing I can't really touch is his Celebi, but Celebi gives me free rocks. He's going to go out into Haxorus now. Uh, I think I'm just going to go into Togekiss, realistically. I'm going to switch out this time because Metagross is still decent. He is going to go for Earthquake. Awesome. Uh, and we are... Okay, we're going to take that one on a forfeit. All right, I'll take it. Uh, let's move on to the next game. Let me show you guys the team, actually. Just, like, in full. Uh, I guess we don't have time for that. All right. Tauros. Interesting. Cofagrigus. Like, this looks like a legit RU team without any broken stuff on it. <laughs> that's that's what it looks like to me. No offense to my opponent, but it looks like everything that was in RU and should be placed in RU in uh, in Sun and Moon. Like, Alolan Persian and... Salazzle and whatnot, but uh, I wish I had freeze dry. I should probably put freeze dry on nine tails, but I really like blizzard and I have things to deal with gastronon like I have toga kiss with uh, with nasty plot So I'm okay. I think uh, I think I'm going to lead off here with Ente Because he leads off with Rotom fan. All right, that's fine. Uh, I should be faster than this in theory uh, unless he's scarfed So I am just gonna go for the sacred fire if he switches into gastronon. That's fine That's a free switch into nine tails after for me and uh, then I can get up my veil and start doing work. And uh, he is scarfed. Okay, that's great to know. Great information right there. And he's going to go out into Gastronon and get it burned. I'm calling it now. Yep, <laughs> there it is. Uh, unfortunately, burn doesn't take away any health uh, on Spadef walls anymore. Or any walls for that matter because of leftovers. Uh, I am just going to go straight out into my Nine Tails. He might predict Freeze Dry. Uh, he's going to go for an Earth Power, so that's going to do a decent amount of damage, actually. Uh, Hail is going to start chipping away at him now, with uh, coupled with Burn. So let's go for the Veil, as he goes for the Recover, which is A-OK -okay with me. And we will just go for a Blizzard right here and get off some damage. I'm curious to see how much this Gastrodon is going to take from it. Uh, Sacred Fire did 40, so I'm actually thinking that he's, yeah, especially defensive, definitely. He's going to go for a Toxic, that's absolutely fine. And I'm going to switch out now into... Suicune can't touch this. Uh, I need to go into Kiss or Sand Slash. I think Sand Slash is the better play because we are a Life Orb. Uh, he's going to go for a Recover, and we can get flinches with uh, with Icicle Crash. So let's try to do that. Do that. Um, we're behind Veil as well, so Earth Power is not going to do that much. It's going to do about the same that it did to Nine Tails, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but that Icicle Crash is going to be a 2 hit KO, actually, as he's going to go for a Recover. Uh, I'm now out of hail, but I'm still faster than this, and I still have my life orb. So at any given moment, if I flinch him, it's it's terrible for him, uh, as he is going to go for an earth power. But I am behind veil, so now Gastrodon is in range of, or almost in range of Blizzard as well. So I'm just gonna go for another crash. If he wants to switch out, that's fine. He lets his Gastrodon go down, which is huge because that thing was a big problem. Like I said at the beginning of the game, that is massive for me. Uh, I couldn't touch that with Suicune, but now Suicune pretty much just sets up on whatever it wants to. Uh, he's going to go out into Salazzle, which is a little bit threatening, because I know this thing gets Encore, which is really annoying for Suicune. Uh, but I am just going to go into Suicune right here. Don't want to take a Fire move. That's what he has to go for. He's not going to go for a Poison move when I have a Sand Slash in on him. And uh, I'm just going to go for Scald right here. Uh, I'm not messing around with Calm Minding Up. He might think I want to, but I'm not going to. Not just yet. He's actually going to leave... Uh, I'm going to find another game just in case uh, he's not actually, well, that he is actually gone. But if he's not, then we'll play both at the same time. It's fine. Uh, he's back. All right. So we got two games going at the same time, guys. Let's try to finish this one first. He's going to go out into Kofag. Okay, perfect. Uh, I get a burn on it, actually. I'm going to go for Calm Mind here. Uh, now let's see what we have as a lead option against this team. He's got a Jellicent, which is once again annoying, just like uh, just like Astrodon. Uh I think I'm just leading Ninetales no matter what. He does lead off with Nidoking, that's fantastic for me, as uh, this thing obviously is a poison type, but unless it's Scarfed, it's not really that threatening. Um, I think I just want a Blizzard. 
Yeah, let's just Blizzard. As he goes out into a Shuckle, that's fine. I don't care about that. Uh, we're going to go for the Aurora Veil. As he's going to go for webs. Now we're going to go on Sand Slash so we can get rid of all of his hazards. Let's go back to this game. Uh, he goes for Will-O-Wisp, that's fine. I'm going for another Calm Mind. As he goes for Knockoff, gets rid of my leftovers. Now I'm going to go for Scald so that he can't switch into anything. We are now in with Sand Slash. Uh, we still have a good amount of speed. We have 264, so we're just above base uh, 70s. Let's go for the Rapid Spin here. As he switches in, oh right, yes, he does have a Ghost type, indeed. Uh, <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Let's go for Earthquake, see how much it does. Uh, Scald on Kofag is going to be a 2-hit KO. He's going to go for Hex. That does nothing because of my special attack raises. I'm actually going to go for another Calm Mind here, as he is going to go for a Pain Split, which is fine. Uh, and now I'm going to go for a Rest. Uh, this thing can't touch me, so I really don't care. If he Pain Splits, uh, it's all good. He's going to go for another Hex. That's fine. We're going to go for Sleep Talk on this turn. Uh, now, Earthquake is only going to do 30, so I do not want to stay in here. He goes for Will-O-Wisp. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, this thing is going to be an issue. I can't deal with it properly. All right, well, let's go into Togekiss. The moments I wish I had uh, Defog on this thing. <laughs> He's going to go for a Taunt. That's fine. Uh, he actually does not have a very good Air Slash switching, uh, especially that his Shuckle is weakened, so I'm just going to go for it. Uh, we are going to get the Scald on the Sleep Talk. First turn, amazing. Uh, let's go for Sleep Talk again. This thing can't hurt me with Volt Switch. Uh, why are you using this tryhard team? Dude, I built it in like five minutes. Uh, and we are going to go for another Sleep Talk here. He's going to go for Sludge Wave. That's fine. We are going to wake up. Oh, wait. That was the turn we were waking up. Damn. Okay, I, sh I should have probably focused a little bit more there. I'm going to go for Rest. He goes for Sludge Wave. He's trying to crit me, I guess. Makes sense. Gonna go for Sleep Talk. Uh, Tog uh, hits the... Oh, wow. He goes into his Thunderous on my Togekiss. I still have two turns of Veil, so I'm just gonna go for another Air Slash. He's gonna go for Knock Off. He really likes knocking off my items, huh? Um, or is that the other guy? I can't I can't remember. Uh, we're just going to go for uh, another Air Slash here. He's gonna go for Acro. That's gonna do nothing. As uh, we're gonna get rid of the Torn. Awesome. And in comes Nido King, the threat. Uh, I think I'm going into... Hmm, he's probably not choice, though. That's the problem. This is dangerous. I'm going to go to Metagross first. As he'll probably go for Sludge Wave. Oh, Clear Body, that's right. Okay, he goes for T-Bolt. So he doesn't have Sludge Wave? But he definitely has Earth Power. There's no chance he doesn't have Earth Power. T-Bolt is actually scarier, though. Damn. Alright, well, let's try to go for Zen Headbutt. He does have Earth Power. It is going to knock us out, of course. If we were AV there, I think we would have been able to take it, possibly. But uh, this thing is a threat, and I have nothing for it. I'm probably going to lose this game. Uh, this game, however, is going amazing, as uh, Huron Hayes on Kofag. Well, um, did I? Yeah, I'm going to go for another one here. Did I get Scald? It's, du it's tough doing two games at the same time. I'm going to go for Scald now. I don't care. It's probably going to crit me, but I, I really don't mind. <laughs> Actually, let's just go for rest. Let's just seal up the game. Because I don't want to lose that one. Uh, this one, however, I pro I'm probably going to lose. There's no doubt about it. Um, I have to go Suicune, and I have to Scald this thing. I, I know I'm a very well aware that he can go for Thunderbolt, but I need to weaken this, uh, or else I'm going to lose. I need to put this in E-Speed range. I don't have a choice. Uh, he's going to go for another Sludge Wave. We are going to go for another Rest. Going to go for a Sleep Talk. And... Nope. Still no Scald. Just getting Rests. As he's going to go for another Sludge, that does nothing. Do we get the Scald? Nope. Alright, now I'm going to go for Scald because he would have to crit me with both Sludge Wave and with uh, Volt Switch on his Rotom to beat me. So, there we go. There goes the Salazzle. He's going to go for T-Bolt with this thing. I'm going to go for Scald. It's going to do a good amount of damage, and he gets burned as well in the process. Awesome. Okay. Good, good, good. I think I lose my Suicune here, but it's okay. It's fine. We're still in this game. Uh, we're going to go on to Entei. Because this thing is burned, it can't just keep switching in for free. I'm going to go for E-Speed. I know he has the um, the Jellicent. It's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'm going to go out into Togekiss. I know he can Toxic me. I'm aware. Uh, he's going to go for Taunt, though. Perfect. Uh, again, he doesn't have good Air Slash switchings. So, in comes Komala, which is going to take a huge Air Slash. I'm going to go for another one. He's actually Scarfed, I think. Is that Scarfed? Or is it just max speed? I think it's max speed. All right, we're going to go into Ninetales. Uh, I'm not faster than this, though. 
I think I need to go for Aurora Veil. Okay, I am faster. Awesome. Whew, that's Choice Banded. I've never seen a more banded Pokemon in my life. Uh, just going for Blizzard here. Tauros comes in. This thing can knock me out. I'm going for Scald. Uh, he goes for Zen Headbutt for the flinch. His Tauros is going to get destroyed. And uh, I'm pretty sure that his Rotom doesn't beat me still. Here we go. Blizzard kills the Kamala. We're definitely losing right here. Togekiss comes in going for Blizzard. He goes for Dazzling Gleam. Kills me behind the Veil. Um, even if I go Sand Slash, he burned my Sand Slash, so... I think I need to go into Entei. And I need to go for a Sacred Fire. He's Life Orb, Togekiss as well. Goes for Air Slash, misses. Interesting. This Togekiss is going to drop. What is he going to now? Nidoking. Okay. Um, either way, I lose. I just switch out into Sand Slash here. And then I have to lock myself into E Speed anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. It's still going to kill me through the veil. And uh, I'm just going to go for the E Speed here. This game's over. But this one is still on. Uh, let's go for the rest here on his T-Bolt. Uh, as he's not able to break through my um, my spe specs increases. And we're going to go for Sleep Talk. Uh, extreme Speed brings that thing down. And then we're just going to go for E-Speed again. This is a loss immediately. Why is he going for... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Hex. GG. I guess that's his only attacking move. He didn't have Scald. Makes sense. Uh, down goes Entei. That's, that game's done. This game should be done as well. Uh, and yes, my opponent forfeits, and we are at 21 minutes, so I'm actually going to end it off there, guys. Uh, we're going to do, like, an episode of this every single day. <laughs> well, uh, just finished recording. So yeah, uh, we're going to do, we're going to try to do an episode of either this or the, or both, actually. Uh, both, uh, this new meta and the metagame of the month. Hopefully one day, every, all, all week, um, see how many of those I can get out. That would be really cool if I can fill up every single day. Uh, today is Sunday when I'm putting this out, so uh, that would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and hopefully Friday. If I could just do five days, that would work too. But uh, let's see how many different teams and how many how much experience we can gain in this tier, because I think I'm really going to end up liking this tier. I liked RU back in uh, Gen 6, and I think I like it even more now uh, with what it looks like. So, I think Pokemon like Suicune will ultimately end up getting banned, because Suicune is way too good to be an RU Pokemon. Like, think about that. Suicune. Rarely used. What? Uh, it's it's too good. Uh, Pokemon like Entei. I think Metagross will eventually leave this uh, tier. Entei might stay. Uh, but Metagross and Suicune I can see leaving. And we'll figure out some of the other broken stuff as we go along. So, uh, if you're if you're excited for these uploads for this, uh, for this tier... Uh, make sure to go play it first and foremost, but also make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao!